The defeat of the Russian army in the Kyiv region, the Russian authorities have called a change of priorities. Their retreat from Zmyiny Island, a gesture of goodwill. But to justify the flight from the Kharkiv region, apparently the Kremlin is no longer able to. The Ministry of Defense of Russia ran into criticism from within the country, having tried to call the retreat of their army a regrouping of the troops. After all, the defeat of the Russian invaders in the Kharkiv region is a strong blow for the Kremlin. The conditions for retreats of the Russian army had been created, formed throughout this time. This is the destruction of their ammunition depots, combustive lubricating materials, command posts, as well as the logistics. At the same time, when more than 8,000 square kilometers had been liberated in the Kharkiv region in a week due to the location and a number of other factors, more than 500 square kilometers had been liberated on the territory of the Kherson region for the period from the second half of August. There was no time for them to undermine the ammunition and to disable military equipment. You must admit, when you seize the equipment with technical documentation, actually in package, this indicates the panicked nature of the retreat of the Russian invaders. There is no talk of any planned departure of the Russian army. It was a panicked escape. The Ukrainians have already called the equipment left by the Russian invaders a Russian land lease. According to the Center for Strategic Communication of Ukraine, the Russian military has actually gifted the Ukrainians, among other things, 45 tanks, including new T-80 main battle tanks, five unmanned aerial vehicles, in particular the Orlan-10, with all the instructions, five multiple launch rocket systems, anti-aircraft missile system, as well as 11 self-propelled artillery. We are talking about capturing a large number of self-propelled artillery, like 2S-19 Msta, 2S-3 Akatsia and others. Given that a 152mm shell is used, which was in service back in Soviet times, I think that the barrage of fire will now be in the opposite direction, towards the Russians themselves. Moreover, with the Russian shells, because when they were fleeing, the Russian occupiers left up to 10,000 tons of ammunition. As a trophy, the Ukrainian defenders have captured the Zoo Park 1 counter-battery radar system with all the documents on it. It will help the armed forces of Ukraine to record the places of launches of the shells of various types. And also, the Borisoglebsk 2 multifunctional electronic warfare weapon system and the portable ground reconnaissance radar Kreda M1. All this ammunition is considered the newest Russian developments. According to various estimates, the Russian ammunition left in Ukraine were from 300 to 500 million US dollars, given the rubble exchange rate, so the inhabitants of Russia can count and thank their soldiers for the opportunity to re-equip the armed forces of Ukraine with samples of their latest high-tech weapons. This is a sufficient amount, given the latest package of military technical assistance from the United States, which Ukraine received, was about 600. 50 million dollars, that is, proportionally. The stronger the onslaught of the Ukrainian defenders becomes, the faster the morale of the Russian occupiers fading away. Even the contract servicemen who are promised good wages refuse to fight. We can see how the number of contract conscious objectors is growing. It had already been at a fairly high level for several months, and now it is even more so because the contract soldier has the right to terminate the contract. I do not rule out that the Russian command may have a thought to change this so that the contract will not be able to be broken. It is becoming more and more difficult to replenish Russia's losses. The only way is to announce a general mobilization. However, Putin will not do this, fearing people's discontent, the experts say. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Ksenia Barvinenko, UATV News.